kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. Off to the races. One day, the kittens brought remote-controlled cars to the playground. Now car number one speeds ahead of the pack, rounding all obstacles. Hey, I think we should build our own racetrack on the playground. So we can have a race? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But I want to be in the race as well. Do you even know how to drive these cars? Well, no, but I'd really like to learn. May I? Uh, okay, fine. This drives the car forward, and this button makes it go backward. Finally, you steer it by turning hmm. this little wheel. Ah, it seems simple enough. <laughs> Not that way. No, oh. stop. Um, let me try to back up. Okay, oh. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh. Uh -huh. Which way are you going? Oh. Go backward, reverse. Yes. Well, that's oh. about enough of that. Everybody knows that girls aren't any good at driving. They just aren't quick enough. Uh, but girls are really good at pushing strollers, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, let's put a really sharp turn. And then we can put a ramp here. I'm gonna prove to them that girls are every bit as good at driving cars as boys are. <laughs> Candy found the remote control that operates her robo-fish. Excellent. Now I just need a little practice. Thank you, Daddy. Oh. 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 Driving fast doesn't mean driving well. When I drive home from the supermarket, I try to avoid every pothole and bump and turn very gently because I don't want to spill my groceries everywhere. <laughs> I've got a really good idea! Candy drove the Robofish very carefully to keep her favorite doll safe. All set for the race? Yeah. A sardine mobile? <laughs> <laughs> Candy the sardine driver! <laughs> Come on, Candy, hurry up! Flap your fins faster! <laughs> <laughs> Drivers, start, start your, your engines! engines. Go! Go. Across the line first. It's first, middle, and last. Then Candy wins and we all lose. It looks like girls can become good drivers after all. And since I was victorious, you boys have to push my doll carriage. Just do it carefully, please. Turns out not only being fast, but also being careful can help win the race, no matter how big or small. Ghosts. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. 
Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> 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 Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Be afraid, Candy. Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts, but not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here! Admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, uh, huh? uh, 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 it's uh, a real uh, ghost! Uh, <laughs> oh, my kitty! I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? I think these old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Whoa. <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. Nap time! One day the kittens were visiting Grandma. Now then, little kittens, it's time for your nap. You can get some lovely rest right there in your nice new hammocks. Nap time? But naps are for little babies. Oh, we wanted to blow bubbles after lunch. Yeah, that's way more fun than sleeping for an hour. Little ones, it's good to have a nice healthy rest. Come along, you might just have a great idea in your sleep. For example, one time a well-known scientist dreamed up a wonderful invention whilst he was sleeping. And it became a very famous scientific discovery. <laughs> hmm. 
one very famous artist would lay down to sleep and then wake up and paint the extraordinary and crazy things he dreamed about. Wow, I love that! Cool! I say let's nap! So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! I'm not sleepy at all. I'm not either. Huh? <sighs> well, it's not too late to go back to our original plan. <laughs> Candy, what's this? Why aren't you sleeping? Well, because, uh... Oh, the mosquitoes are bugging us. Grandma hung up special nets to protect the kittens from insects. The mosquitoes won't bother you any longer. Sleep well, kittens. We have to find a place to blow bubbles where Grandma won't be able to see us. <laughs> <laughs> My kittens. Huh? You're still not sleeping? Well, um, you see, the ducks are keeping us up. That's right. With all their quacking and quacking, how could we sleep? Oh, I guess they must be hungry. We need to find some food for them. <laughs> Now then, the ducks won't bother you two at all. But Cookie and Candy didn't want to take a nap. Cookie, candy, pudding, Daddy's here. Keep it down. The kittens are taking a nap. <laughs> Doesn't look like they are to me. Sorry, Grandma, but we don't need naps anymore. They're really just no use at all. You're wrong about that. Guess what? While I was sleeping, I came up with a way to blow a whole bunch of bubbles at one time. Genius! <laughs> I know what we should do next time. We should actually sleep when Grandma says it's nap time. Then maybe we'll dream up some really great ideas. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that taking a little rest during the day is very useful and good for you. Cookie takes a break. One day, Daddy made an exciting announcement. My kittens, today we're visiting an aquarium. We'll see all kinds of fish and octopuses. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But first, you need to pick your train track up off of the floor. In case it causes a toy train kitten collision. <laughs> we'll clean up now. Sounds wonderful. And Daddy will buy our aquarium tickets online. We built such a gigantic train track that it'll take us forever to put it away. Well, we'd better get started then. Tidying up wasn't Cookie's favorite thing to do. Uh, uh, uh. Cookie, can you put the controller in the box? It's too heavy for me. Uh. Uh. Cookie, did you drop that heavy train switch on your paw? Uh, yes, ow, yes, dropped it right on my paw. Oh, it hurts so much. I guess I can't help tidy up. Right, when you injure your paw, you really should go lie down. However, just lying there and waiting was pretty boring. 
Cookie? Ouchie! Get off your paw or it'll never oh. get better. But I'm thirsty. I'll get you something to drink. And if you need something else, just tell us and we'll help you. Cookie started to rather like that having a sore paw made everyone help him out. He started calling pudding and candy for every little thing. I'd love to have an apple. Uh, on second thought, I'd love a pear more. Then Puss in Boots asked the princess. Are you feeling any better? No, nope, my paw's still hurting. Shouldn't we tell Mommy? We shouldn't bother Mommy about one little sore paw. What if she sends me off to the hospital? <laughs> Maybe we should put some ice on your paw. Please don't do that. I'd probably catch a cold from all the ice. Huh? <laughs> If we had a time machine, we could use it to return to earlier. Mm. And keep Cookie mm. from hurting his oh. paw. Oh. Oh. Ah. But there's no such thing as a time machine. I'm sure my paw will get better on its own, but not yet. Hey, I think some cartoons would really help. Look, kittens, I just printed out our tickets to the aquarium. Ah! Oh! Uh, Daddy! Oh, goodness. Looks like dear old Daddy just had a major train collision. The bruise isn't too bad, but Daddy cannot drive anywhere today. Now, kittens, why didn't you clean up like we asked you to? We were cleaning, but Cookie dropped the control box right on his paw. Then he started caring for Cookie instead. Um, to be honest, the box didn't really fall on my paw. Um, and my paw didn't really hurt at all. But why did you tell us that it was hurting? Well, at first it was because I really didn't want to help clean up. But then I really liked it that you were taking such good care of me. It's your fault we can't go to the aquarium today because Daddy's hurt his leg on the train set. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. We're still going to go. I can drive us all there. And Cookie won't be doing anything like that again, will you, Cookie? I won't. Never again. I promise. I'm sorry, Daddy. I know what to do. Before we leave, we should clean up the rest of the railroad tracks so no one else gets injured. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie was a good kitten, to tell the truth. And he realized it's best to help out and not just think about yourself. Willpower. One day, Daddy baked some lovely muffins. Oh! Ooh, yumminess alert! Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it, like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize? prize? So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. Oh, but I so want just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Cookie, you've got to use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. Uh, hmm, I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, I'm 
I'm gonna take huh? these into the kitchen. That way they won't tempt anyone. Cookie! I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> 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 I've got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? Ah. No! Remember to use your willpower. Huh? We promised mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking you home. Muffin! Tasty muffin! <laughs> Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. Let's get him a banana or something. Wow. Look at how fluffy they are. Yeah. Bet they're super yummy as well. Ah! <laughs> give me the muffins! No, give them to me! <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no. You ate all of them? Uh, now, kittens, what happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried. We honestly really tried to use our willpower. But, well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins. That means we win. Huh? Oh, wow. We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wow! I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. <laughs> Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it. And I'll become a great fashion designer. <laughs> Now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> now I'll have lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. And win a giant trophy. But then the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were. 
were here to see this? Yeah. I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. Me wow, me wow. Me wow, me wow. Me wow, me wow. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh. Um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, Boris. Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. You'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win as long as your friends and family are with you. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Oh, I'm just gonna go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our um, poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show. <coughs> <laughs> Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We've added laughter medicine. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Aww. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. Let's do yeah. it! I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin! Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, uh, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. But we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're going to need is eggs. 
and flower, right? Kittens? What was that? Oh, me wow. We were begging Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah. Uh huh? Darling, look there. The sun is coming out. Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me. It's really, really cheering me up. I'm beginning to feel better already. Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, <laughs> Mommy? I'm feeling much better. My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day, a special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This Kittens Day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome <gasps> one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. <laughs> wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy <laughs> did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> So big, it could hold all the parts of a real life pirate ship. All hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big, it could have almost anything inside. Find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a Kitten's Day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now! That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. But we still have to pretend to be surprised and happy when we open it again later, or Mommy and Daddy will be disappointed. <sighs> Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. 
Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> we already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Whoa! Whoa. Wow, wow, look, look at that! Look at that! It's a magic towel with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day. And they realized that surprises are worth waiting for. Kitty clothes. One day, Mommy was working on her new line of clothes for kittens and ran out of fabric. Kittens, I need to run to the store. If you do need something while I'm gone, ask Daddy in his office. Okay, okay we, we will, will, Mommy. I can't wait to see all of the cool clothes Mommy's working on. Why don't we take a look? They're right there in her office. <laughs> hey, it's a kitten-shaped doll, except it doesn't have a head. That's Mommy's catechin. It's a special model shaped like a real kitten to help Mommy make sure the clothes she makes will fit nicely. The coat on the drawing on the wall looks pretty nice, but the one on the catechin here doesn't. Oh, poor Mommy. She had so much to do that she didn't have the time to finish it. Hey, why don't we help her? Let's do it. We'll help make Mommy's coat the best kitten coat ever. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. We need to add some pockets and a collar. Cookie, bring us some glue. I will draw the collar and the pockets. After that, pudding, you can cut them out. Someone needs to try it on. Well, professional models are usually pretty tall, and since Pudding's the tallest one, it's pretty clear Pudding should be our model. Go on, Pudding, see how well it fits. Well, I'll try it, but I don't think I can pull off that walk the real models do. Ouch, I can't see anything through this collar. Looks a little bit too high. It really shouldn't cover up your eyes and mouth. We could cut some slits for his mouth and his eyes. I'd only be able to see what's right in front of me, though. What if I needed to look in a direction other than straight ahead? We don't need to cut holes at all. We can just fold the collar down. Cool, good. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Mm, except, uh, I can't get my paws into any of the pockets, though. Oh. That's probably because we kind of glued them shut. That's all right. They still make really pretty decorations. We can also glue some pretty buttons onto it and make it the prettiest coat ever. The kittens were so enthusiastic that they covered the whole coat with buttons without even noticing it. Oh boy, now it feels like it weighs a ton. I can't even lift my paws up. I guess it'd be all right to remove a few of the buttons. Oh no, now it's covered in glue, which doesn't make it look pretty at all. What if we covered up the glue with ribbons? <laughs> can't walk in this thing. <laughs> Kittens, what are all of you doing here in my office? And where's the coat that was on the catechin? Mommy, I'm wearing it. We decided to try and finish it. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mommy. 
<laughs> Don't worry, my darlings. That was actually just a practice coat to try things out. I'll make the real thing with this fabric I just bought. And if you would like to help me out, you are all very welcome. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! practice or at least that's what they say and we're learning that the fact is if you work hard every day oh you just won't believe all the things you can achieve do your best let them see all you can be the new coat turned out to be awesome and the kitty cats were really happy that they got to help their mommy <laughs> exercising kitties the kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens, join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. How are we supposed to get it down from up there? Uh, we could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. What if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Ah. Grandma, that was amazing! You look like some kind of super cat or something! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. 
It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we do a few exercises all together? So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. Hide and seek, kitties. One day the kittens decided to have a game of hide and seek. We can hide anywhere in the house except for the basement, all right? Deal, let's do it. Who's the first seeker? Well, I don't want to be it. Me either. Uh, whew. That was a hard day. <sighs> hey, play hide and seek with us, Daddy. Do play with us, Daddy. Pretty please with hugs, Daddy. Uh, but oh, sure, I'll play. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay then. Ready or not, here Daddy comes, kittens. Who do we have under here? <laughs> <laughs> I found candy. <laughs> And this is pudding! <laughs> Looky, it's cookie! Yay! Let's play again! Oh. <laughs> Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Grandma, hello there. Oh, my daddy's too tired to be it again. Can we swap for a little while? How about you three seek, and I'll hide. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here we come. Let's go and look behind the couch. I bet he's hiding there. Nope. Maybe he's hiding in the wardrobe. <laughs> he's not here either. She's right, he's not here. The kittens looked in every room, but they couldn't find Daddy. Well, maybe Daddy got hungry and then hid in the refrigerator. <laughs> but Daddy would freeze if you were in a fridge oh. for so long. Oh. Maybe he's in the washing machine. <gasps> Mommy's about to do laundry. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, don't turn it on. <laughs> Daddy might be hiding in there. There's no need to worry, kittens. I assure you it was completely empty when I put the laundry into it. Now what? Daddy wasn't in there either. We were playing hide and seek, but we can't find Daddy at all. Hmm. Well, maybe he's in the basement. We agreed before we started we wouldn't hide in the basement. But we forgot to tell Daddy that rule when he joined in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Guess I was having a little snooze. Poor dear. You must be exhausted after your long work day. Oh, the three of us never really thought about that. That's right. We bugged him to play with us the moment he got home. I have a really good idea. We need to let Daddy rest for a little while and only ask him to play after that. Daddy, why don't you lay on the couch and rest for a while? <laughs> I've already had a nice snooze, and now I'm ready to play hide and seek. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy's gonna be it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here comes Mommy! The kittens had the most fun hiding and seeking when everyone in the family was rested and in the mood to play. 
Championship. With only a few more days left until kickoff, you can bet the stadium will be flooded with fans very soon. And here comes our city's own team and their glorious captain. Are we going to the stadium too? Of course we are, kittens. It's the only way to truly support our team. Oh. In fact, I was just about to call and book our tickets this minute. We'll get to watch the game right there at the stadium, just like real fans. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! <laughs> we'll get to see our team win. And after the game, we can drive back waving our winning team's flags. No! No! Huh? Uh, uh, oh, no! Oh, what happened, honey? There are no more tickets left. They've already sold out every seat. Oh, all is lost. Oh. It doesn't really matter, my darling. I'm sure we'll survive. We'll just watch the game on television. <laughs> Come now, I'll make some nice tea for you. Poor Daddy, he's such a mega fan. I feel bad for him now. Attention, soccer fans. The contest for the best trick with a soccer ball is now underway. The winner will be awarded an official team ball presented by the captain himself. Hey, we need to win that ball for Daddy because that would really cheer him up. I will now bounce this ball on my head a hundred times. One, two, three, oops. Just a sec. This time for real. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. 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 One, two. Oh. All right, maybe I can't bounce it a hundred times. Well, maybe you could make just one tricky shot. A super incredible one. Hey, Cookie here. I will now kick this ball through that door. Then it'll roll down the slide on the other side. Cool, let's try. Ah! Oh. Ouch! Ouch! I don't think I can do it. I have a really good idea, but to make it work, we'll need a little help from our friends. The kitten's friends agreed to help them perform the ball trick. We ready? Yeah! yeah! All right, let's do it! Let's send this into the trick shot contest. The next day, they announce the contest winner. And the winner of the trick shot contest huh? is Cat the Artist. Aww. For his creative approach to soccer. He will receive an official team ball from the captain. But we'd also <laughs> like to mention another special video from the Kitty Cats and Friends. No way, they're showing our video. And as a special prize, all these adorable kittens and their parents will receive tickets to the championship game. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The stadium is completely full tonight. The home team leads to the score of two to zero. The captain's power kick. The ball soars high into the air and gets by the right in the hands of the puppy Watching the championship match and cheering for your team from the stands can be a wonderful experience, especially when you're with your family. Clowning around with Boris. One day, the kittens were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sea captain. And I'll be a concert pianist. And I, uh, I'll be a great scientist. And I want to be a clown. Hmm? Boris, do you really want to be a clown? You're kind, but not so funny. Well, clowns aren't funny people in real life. They're funny with their bodies when they perform. 
But you never perform, Boris. You're right. Which means I better start. I'll come up with a funny routine and perform it for everyone. Everyone will laugh a lot. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But at home, the kittens realized that they were worried about Boris. But what if his routine turns out not to be funny? Boris will be so sad if he does a show and no one laughs. What if we sneak and tickle every kitten's paws? Then they're sure to laugh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, that won't work. When something's funny, everyone laughs at the same time. We could put this in the audience and play a laugh track on it. It'd be really strange to hear laughter, but not see anybody laughing. <laughs> or you three could help Boris come up with his clown show. Friends are supposed to help one another. <sighs> the kittens want to help Boris with his routine. Oh, thanks a lot for coming. My costume is pretty ready, but I still haven't thought up a funny routine. We can help you with that. Everyone usually laughs when someone falls down. Look, like this. Ow. Uh. Ow. You just drop the banana uh. peel and then you slip uh. on it and fall on your bottom. Uh. Go uh. on, you got this. Uh. 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 Oh. Ow. Looks like comedy wipeouts aren't your thing either. Everybody laughs when they hear a funny song, so just sing something hilarious. La la la, la la la. Funny la, songs la. really need to have funny words. But I don't know any really funny songs. Oh, here's something funny to do. Comedy gold, pie in the face, and all you have to do is stand still while I do the rest. You ready? No. <laughs> Well, that was a total waste of a delicious cake. Yeah, and for nothing, because it wasn't even funny. This is all my fault. I'm not funny at all. I won't ever be a real clown. Boris, you're really funny. That's hilarious. Am I? I wasn't trying to be funny. It somehow just happened by itself. <laughs> you know what? I think you really do have the talent to be a real clown. <laughs> I have a really good idea. The kittens came up with a clown routine to showcase Boris's natural talent. And that's how the kitty cats yeah. realize that a talent may not always be easy to see. Sometimes it can even be discovered by accident. <laughs> Tennis with Dad. One day, Mommy was talking to someone on the phone. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful idea. When would you like to play? Okay, well, I'll see you then. <laughs> And what are you going to be playing, my darling? Well, you and I will be playing together. Doubles tennis with Chase's mom and dad. Whoa! You mean you're going to play a tennis match? So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But, Kitty, hold on. I'm not really the best tennis player. That's all right. I can pick up the slack for you. We'll play a few sets. Uh, only one set, all right? I've got things to take care of. All right, one set and that's all. Off to the gym. Have to be in great shape for tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna lose no matter what, and it'll all be my fault. Hey, don't worry, Daddy. You've still got plenty of time to practice. 
That's right. We can help you, Daddy. The backyard was the perfect place to practice. The key to doubles tennis is to stay out of your partner's way and return the ball. Daddy, just pretend that all of these things are Mommy and remember to keep away from them. This is Mom, then? <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, oh, Kitty dear, I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, uh, pardon me. <laughs> mm? oh, oh, that was an accident. Oh, ah! Uh, oh, hey! Oh, oh no, wait! Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh. What's wrong? Daddy hasn't hit a single tennis ball yet. He's not moving fast enough to get them. He'd be much faster if he wore a pair of roller skates. But I never figured out how to stop on roller skates. I couldn't mommy's way even more like this. Uh, maybe you could just stand in one spot and wait for the ball to come to you. If you did that, you wouldn't get in mom's way. <laughs> be like Mommy was playing all by herself. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid is going to happen. When it comes to tennis, I'm the worst. <sighs> to cheer everyone up, Daddy offered the kitten some tea along with his signature cake. You may not be the world's greatest tennis player, Daddy, but you make the yummiest desserts ever. Right. Good-looking ones, too. Just look at that icing. Learning how to bake like this took quite a lot of practice. I had to learn the basics first, such as how to whip cream. I've got a really good idea. I know how we can teach Daddy tennis now. Oh, uh, I thought we were finished with all that tennis stuff. Daddy, there's no need to worry. I promise you'll do awesome this time. <laughs> oh. In tennis, just like in anything else, it's best to start with the basics and eventually move on to bigger things. We might have won the set, but you guys played excellently. I was surprised. Yeah, you played so wonderfully, darling. Too bad you can't play longer. It'd be great to play some more sets. <laughs> we could play another ten sets. I'm absolutely free until tonight. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> and that's how simple exercises helped Daddy to believe in himself. Because it always feels good to just try your very best.